In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps 3D stairs design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four steps. This is the step number one with the icon and the title and you can add the detail here, step one and the detail text. As you can see here, I've just given some shadow effect and this is the step two, step three and step four. I've made it kind of an arrow design. And I've made one more slide where it looks like a wooden blocks. Also, you can see here, you can make something designs like this. And before uh, we continue, I request you to uh, subscribe my channel, PowerPoint University, and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, select the rectangle, draw a small rectangle by holding the shift key and then shape outline, make it no outline and then I'm going to make it as a 3D object for that right mouse click, go to format shape, go to effects and under 3D rotation, go to presets scroll down and you can see here i'm just going to select this one which is oblique bottom left you can see here and then no changes happen if you want to see the changes then you go to 3d format and you can see the depth rate depth maybe i'm going to make it say 100 you can see here it looks something like this so now depending on the requirement you can just choose maybe i can just select this one also that's also fits my requirement you can see here this is oblique top left all right and if you want to make it more up and down you can just do like this also you can see here and i want to increase the depth further maybe i want to make it more you can see here i can make it something like this also and this i'm going to uh fill and i'm going to give a gradient fill for that i'm just going to select the gradient fill so here I have used before that's the reason it's uh, coming here. So the type is linear and select two stop one stop. You can give any dark color. For example, I'm going to give some green color and here I'm going to give some light green color combination, whichever you feel better. You can just select that particular color. So it looks something like this. You can see here. So now this is the first step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here, press Ctrl D and give some different color combination. I'm going to give a kind of a dark orange with a light orange color. You can see here. And then I'm just going to put it here. Let me just zoom in. And I'm just going to put it exactly on top of this at the corner. So this is my second and the third I'm just going to put it here you can see here and the fourth I want to put here and I want to change the shape to uh, arrow shape for that go to edit shape you can see a change shape and then I'm going to select this one which you can see your arrow up so it looks something like this and again hold the shift key and increase the size whichever size you want or if you want to have a uh, more wider then don't hold the shift key so it comes something like this and then you can just put it here if you want to bring it on top you can bring it on top also so you can see here something like this you can do it and you can just bring it somewhat down and then depending on the, your requirement you can just change the color as per your requirement so i'm just going to give some different color combination you can try for different color combination you can see here a lot of colors are there you can see here i'm just going to give maybe a, this color uh, with a light color combination so like this you can do something like this and if you want to give a wooden effect also that is also possible to give the wooden effect it's very simple for example i'm going to select this you can go to picture or texture field you can see here and go to texture and whichever you want you can just simply select this one if you want a darker brown if you want a lighter brown if you want a medium or some different color combination whatever you feel better you can just do that one so this is the simplest way you can do and one more thing which you need to do here is you need to go to the effects you can see here and see the material and lighting so i'm just going to select the lighting maybe this one which is two points so it is somewhat darker you can see here 
and maybe for this i'm going to select let me just select this one you can see here which is the neutral balance and this also i'm going to select the same neutral balance and here also i'm going to select the neutral balance so once this is done uh, it's time to give the shadow effect first i'm going to give the shadow effects here let me just zoom in a little bit you can see here go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select this of uh, free form shape so you can see here from here the shadow will go here here and then just click this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use the color combination of black and the color which is on the box so first i'm going to select the color black you can see here the direction i'm going to choose something like this and the lighter color using the eyedropper i can just select this orange you can see here and if you want to give some you know a transparency effect also it can be done so something like this you can see here and again press ctrl d i'm just going to copy it on the top and this time the color combination will be this one you can see here and you can make it somewhat increase the transparency so this is how the the shadow effect looks like and at the bottom also you can give the shadow effect but before that one let's add some background to it so to give the background i'm going to use uh, two rectangles go to insert shapes uh, draw a rectangle this one will be as kind of a flooring you can see a shape outline make it no outline and then you can go and select any picture from this one okay so maybe i can just give a time being some lighter color and then send this to back you can see here and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one more rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline again make it no outline and shape fill you can give some darker color or you can give some more lighter color or different color combination or maybe you can give some patterns pictures you can see here you can select some pictures or solid color whichever way you feel better you can do it and then send this to back so if you see here in my case i have used uh, this one texture background kind of a wall which i've downloaded from uh, unsplash.com so here these are the two images so let me just copy these two images which i've downloaded and then i'm just going to delete this for example and i'm going to paste it here and then send this to back the same thing or you can just simply go here and you can just select the picture also from here so whichever you can see here picture click on insert and select the image now once this is done i'm going to add the shadow effect for this also go to insert shapes again select the free form shape and you can see here i'm just drawing something like this you know and click it here and again the same effect i'm going to give i can select this format painter and click this and only thing this one i'm going to choose the color this color you can see here and make it fully transparent and then go format and just send back and make sure that this is this looks something like this you can see here the shadow effect for this also has been created so the design is ready it's time to add some icons and some options so go to insert icons again depending on your requirement uh, select the icons and then i'm just going to add these icons here and then i'm going to make it maybe 0.5 height and width and graphic fill i'm going to make it white and just select one by one and you can just paste it here you can see here and the last thing is you can just go to insert text you can add the title here you can see here you can add your title whichever color you need you can make you can change the font according to your choice let me just select a century gothic and if you want you can just make it bold and then you can go to insert text and you can add for example step 01 you can see here and then you can go to insert text and add the detailed text here and reduce the size you can see here this one you can make it also bold and again same font you can just check and put it here 
so this one i can just control d duplicate and then just add on next to each option something like this and if you want to give some animation effect also you can give some animation effect to this